Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're hopping back in a public test server 8.0 where we are going to be looking at smoothies. Now before we hop in and look at smoothies, I just want to invite everybody here to go ahead and subscribe to the channel because only one third of you guys who actually watch these videos are actually subscribed to the channel and I hate for you guys to miss any update videos on anything that has to do with Grounded or any of the other games I'm covering currently including Small Land, Subnautica and all sorts of other survival games as well. Now what I want to do is talk about smoothies. Smoothies has been changed almost completely. So when you go to your smoothie maker and you go to make a smoothie, you will notice that you now have goop based options. Okay. You have normal and beefy smoothies, and then you have different things that you can make smoothies out of. Now, what I will say is that if you actually put this in here, you can actually craft your standard question mark smoothie. But instead of just being able to add three random parts to the smoothie maker, you now now will need either grub goop or a muscle sprout in order to do it. Now all of your standard recipes do still work. So your water gills, your liquid rage using the uh, different things from ants, your workers comp, human food, green machine, and I know I'm missing some smoothies on here. But we'll talk about that another time with all my missing recipes that I currently have. But going through, say you wanted to make a green machine, you can't just put your standard uh, plant fiber, sprig, and clover leaf into the smoothie maker anymore. You actually have to put all three of those items plus one of the base items that you can get, whether it's muscle sprouts or grub goop. So what I would suggest you guys do is get comfortable with fighting grubs. You can go through and find grubs all over the map. All you need is a shovel. And to be honest, you can actually kill them with the shovel too. You don't need to switch over to a weapon. So if you bring yourself one or two shovels out, you should be able to come back with 10 to 20 grub goop and you'll have plenty. The bonus with that is you also get grub hides and other other things as well that you need for other recipes in the game, including things like your shinobi sneezes, your new um, bombs, and everything like that. So get out there and give it a try. Get out there and get yourself some grub goop. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need a lot of it. Now, a lot of you guys will also ask me where muscle sprouts are, and I'm gonna show you now. Okay, so before I zip over there, what I'm going to say is that I have just harvested these, so it may take a day or two in order to get them. And also, where we are going is into the pond. Now, with going into the pond, guys, the one thing you're going to want to be careful with... Ooh, that's a little... uh laggy right there oh look at that giant door that's in the water that's a public test server what are you gonna do but um what i wanted to say guys is that the best way to make sure that you can harvest up a ton of the muscle sprouts is to actually go through and explore the entire water base first now this is a muscle sprout this is where they grow inside of this main dome and if you guys go through and you unlock the entire water base this will be no problem for you to come down here and get these they respawn in game every three to five days so it takes a little bit of time for these to actually respawn but once they respawn you can come in and harvest a bunch of them now they grow on all of these little tabules that are all around here so you could get quite a few of them as you can see, I got like 20 of them out of here and there's still some left over. So just come back down here and pick them up and then exit through the exit in the pond that is um, right here. This exit will actually open up once you've unlocked this base here. So you'll be able to easily swim down through here, um, right around up here and then go through this uh, hallway and get into this room climb up to the top and there's all your muscle sprouts what that does is it gives you the availability to make beefy smoothies in order to make a beefy smoothie you need that and what you can do with beefy smoothies is they changed it they replaced smoothie plus with beefy smoothies okay but they also edited it a little bit more to where Smoothie Plus used to give you a little bit more of a bonus to whatever the smoothie's uh, bonus attribute it was giving you would do, and it would also increase the amount of time that it would do. That doesn't happen anymore, okay? All it does is gives you back an increased amount of health, okay? That's all that actually making a beefy smoothie will do, but that increased amount of health back could save your life when fighting things, especially some of the things that they have talked about that could be coming further in the game, including praying mantises, centipedes, maybe a frog, anything like that, even small lizards, that could be coming to the game in the future that you could have to fight and or battle off from your 
base, wasps, hornets, all of those cool things that could be coming. These beefy smoothies could be the one thing that saves your butt because let's face it, these fiber bandages that you can craft or even these heal bosses that you can make are not the best when it comes to healing you quickly. At the end of the day, the fastest thing that you can um, get to heal you quickly is these beefy smoothies and it's gonna come out to be something that you want all the time even hedgelord hedgelord is good too makes you fuller gives you the moist feel gives you hunger and thirst just go ahead and make up some of these guys it's not that hard to make these smoothies it's not that hard to get the stuff to make beefy smoothies but just as a recap guys go out spend your time getting out some grub goop and spend your time getting some muscle sprouts but the best thing that you can do if i'm being honest the best thing that you can do right now if you're not in public test server 8.0 is go out and make yourself a crap load of the standard question mark smoothies. They will still heal you quickly and they are easier to make before they incorporate where you need to use either muscle sprouts or grub goop in order to make the smoothie. So there is a bonus pro tip for you guys here who watched all the way to the end of the video. For all you guys who like to sit here and hang out with me to the end, thank you all so very much. If you put down in the comments what um, that you watched the end, I'll heart your comment. Also, I'd love to know what your favorite smoothie is if you guys have a favorite smoothie please let me know down in the comments because i want to know i'm trying to make some videos that go through what people think are the best items to what the developers think are the best items and then what i think are the best items and kind of compare them that way so i'd love to know you guys input i really do appreciate it um also guys make sure you guys hit that like button it helps the channel more than you guys know so thank you guys all so much who do hit that like button make sure you guys subscribe like i asked you to in the beginning of the video because that also will make it so you never miss anything and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one.